what makes me feel especially sad is that um, it does not have to be this way. Last week, a 74-page lawsuit detailing alleged sexual abuse in the St. Louis Archdiocese shocked Catholic church members across the Midwest. I'm Hannah McElroy here at St. Cecilia's Catholic Cathedral. And behind me, victims of sexual abuse in the Catholic Church are calling for the immediate resignation of Archbishop George Lucas, who was named in that lawsuit and alleges that he sexually abused a child in St. Louis. Archbishop Lucas was one of 56 priests in the St. Louis Archdiocese accused of sexual abuse. David Clossy, a member of Survivors Network of those abused by priests, came to Omaha Wednesday to share his story of abuse in St. Louis. Clossy came to advocate for victims, holding photos of other victims, including one of himself from when he was 12 years old. He does not say Lucas is his abuser. If more members of the hierarchy are held to account and pay a price for ignoring and concealing abuse, that will go a long, long way towards, you know, remedying injustice and towards protecting children. In a taped statement to Omaha Catholics, Archbishop Lucas denied the allegations. The allegation against me by an anonymous person is a complete fabrication. It never happened. I have never had sexual contact with another person. Archbishop Lucas turned in his resignation in June. He says it's not in response to the allegations, but because he turned 75 and is required of all bishops when they reach that age. I'm going to call on Archbishop Lucas to submit to an independent investigation in regards to these accusations that were made against him in this lawsuit. Independent, not in-house. SNAP is calling for the immediate resignation of Archbishop Lucas. At 40th and Burt Street, I'm Hannah McElroy, your Central Omaha Neighborhood Reporter.